today we are going to do the unboxing of the exhaust for the ninja 1000 so i've been looking for aftermarket exhaust for quite some time then there are various brands but i have selected a brand and i'm going to do the unboxing of it i hope you join me okay now this is the packing of the exhaust now we are going to do the unboxing of it okay uh, it comes with a protective uh, cover it's nothing just air filled with uh, it's air is filled with it and here are the two exhausts so let's see what are these exhausts so the one and the two okay and there are some fitment parts as well as the db killers okay now we have done the unboxing of it so ninja 1000 has two exhausts on both the sides so we need uh, two exhausts for it and uh, so now i'm going to remove it let's see what what is the exhaust that i have selected for the ninja 1000 and here it is okay now i'll give you the detailed description of these exhausts so these are the two exhausts and this these are the db killers so for both the exhausts okay okay now i have selected arrow arrow titanium exhausts okay so they are, it comes with the two titanium exhaust for the right and the left side and the db killers to be placed inside the exhaust and uh, there is a small uh, attention manual over here and here we have the fitment parts so there's a sticker arrow sticker then the instruction manual and uh, we have got a gel over here a paste so i'll give you a demo of how to apply this and a few nuts and bolts to fit it onto the bike and to fit the db killers into the exhaust okay. now i have selected arrow exhaust so the name of this exhaust is arrow pro race titanium exhaust so these are arrow pro race titanium exhaust these are made of titanium and uh, the db killers are also made of titanium and here we have the fitment parts of it okay so now uh, this is the right side and this is the left side so the right side is a little bit longer because in the ninja 1000 you have a small uh, protective uh, cover on the right side to fit it to fit it on to the catalytic convert converter whereas on the left side you don't have the cover because uh, the, the chain comes in that part so it is a little bit smaller so now we have both the exhaust and the db killers so the main uh, use of any exhaust, the main use of any exhaust is, is it controls the noise coming from the engine. So it directs away the noxious gases. So it takes away the gases produced in the engine, it controls the noise and it improves the acceleration and the performance of the vehicle. So these four are the normal use of any exhaust in any motorcycle or car or whatever it is but now the main use i'll tell you the main use of the titanium okay now i'm uh, going to replace the steel exhaust the stock steel exhaust in the ninja 1000 to titanium so why titanium so there are various uh, exhausts like titanium and uh, carbon and stainless steel so these are the most commonly used material to make the exhaust uh, the stock exhaust is a stainless steel so now i have chosen titanium because uh, the titanium saves weight so it saves 40% of the weight. So the, we'll check the weight of the stock exhaust as well as this titanium exhaust. So 40% of the weight is going to get reduced from the exhausts. And the next is that it improves performance and acceleration better than steel. So the titanium is going to improve the performance and the acceleration as well as titanium is more durable. It is more strong, is, it dissipates heat better and it cools faster. So and the titanium also prevents corrosions and rusts and stains. Okay, and uh, they are usually good looking. So when compared to the steel exhaust, they are quite good looking. So we'll do a comparison of uh, the stock exhaust as well as the titanium exhaust onto the bike. Okay, 
and uh, the these are the few advantages of these titanium exhaust and uh, the disadvantage there are a few disadvantages of the titanium exhaust they are uh, they are a bit costly compared to steel exhaust titanium exhaust are a bit costly and uh, they also have what do you say you cannot uh, cast it so once they get uh, damaged you cannot cast it like steel so even in steel uh, even if you cast it like uh, even if you give it a little bit uh, uh, tinkering work here and there it's going to damage the looks of the vehicle so that doesn't make a much, uh, much big difference whereas uh, the cost is quite high when compared to steel exhaust so next uh, these are the db killers so db killers means the decibel uh, level killers uh, in, in the exhaust the decibel is the noise produced from the exhaust so these are going to reduce the noise of the exhaust so basically these are the db they call it the, the db killers so you we have to place it uh, like this in this part and there there is a nut over here uh, there is a nut over here and uh, you have to fit it into this part so db killers we can use it with the db killers as well as without the db killers so once you are going to use it with the db killers uh, the noise is going to get reduced so once you are going to remove the db killers if you will get the pure noise only the only the pure exhaust noise so we'll do the demo of both of it and uh, the use of this db killers is like uh, they reduce the noise level as well as uh, the there's in, uh, less maintenance but there are a few disadvantages of the db killers because once you fit it they give, they are going to cause back pressure so the uh, engine is going to produce a lot of gases and the gases are going to come out through the exhaust and they are going to hit it and they are going to be channeled through the db killers so once they are going to be channeled there is going to be back pressure and uh, it, it, may, it might uh, hamper the performance of the vehicle ok so the db killers uh, we can use the exhaust with and without the db killers so with the db killers the noise is going to get uh, reduced a little bit without the db killers you are going to get the pure engine sound from the exhaust so uh, it depends upon the riders it depends on whether you want to use it or you don't want to use it uh, but most riders prefer not to use the db killers on long rides and uh, when and when doing city rides most of uh, city commuting they do they use the db killers because uh, the noise gets reduced and uh, it doesn't cause uh, noise pollution or whatever okay the next is like the db killers prolonged use of the db killers might cause a rattling noise inside the exhaust so the db killers are going to fit like this and because of the back pressure it might cause a rattling so it, this rattling might be there and there may be some wear and tear and some engine stains maybe but if there's a proper maintenance these these things are not going to happen but it might if you are a little bit uh, slagging in the maintenance part these might happen so there doesn't make a much big difference in these things so it depends upon the rider whether you want to use it or you don't want to use the db killers okay and then uh, we have a few bolts and nuts and as well as we have a paste over here uh, to fit it into the exhaust so the main use of this paste is for lubrication so once when we use put uh, once we, when we remove the exhaust pipe from the catalytic converter we have to apply the paste over here the given paste over here so that it will uh, go smoothly into the catalytic converter part and uh, once when you are going to remove it, it it's going to come out smoothly so most riders forget they forget to pay, uh, use the lubricant paste and once when they are uh, removing it there is going to be a crack over here so we have to be a little bit cautious so the applying the paste is always better the long run when you are going to remove the exhaust for some maintenance work or for whatever it is then there might be a crack in the end of the exhaust uh, we are going to install the exhaust onto the bike these are actually slip-ons it is not a full system it is a slip-on so the main uh, exhaust full system we are, not, we are not replacing the full system of the exhaust so the full system means like you are you are replacing the exhaust from the engine from the engine part but now we are uh, we are not doing that we are going to replace it after the catalytic converter so these are just slip-ons okay so these slip-ons are uh, specially manufactured so these are specifically manufactured for the ninja, ninja 1000 uh, the year it, is, it, was, it was manufactured in 2019 so i can see it in the uh, uh, in the cover the manufacturing date and uh, the place where it has been manufactured has been mentioned in the box so these have been manufactured in 2019 so that's very important so when you go to buy the slip-ons or exhaust or anything so make sure that they are being recently manufactured 
and uh, they are specifically for the vehicle which you are intending to buy so a lot of people just uh, order the exhaust so once they receive the exhaust or silicones they find that they, uh, it has been manufactured long back the model of the bike would have changed and uh, there are some uh, things like that so it's always better to check for the manufacturing date as well as the specific bike for which the exhaust have been ordered okay so the all these details we will find it in the box so guys here we have the original packing of uh, the Aero Race Pro Pro Race exhausts. Uh, it has been especially you can see it has been mentioned for Kawasaki Z1000. So the, it's from Italy and the date is uh, 2019-7. And here we have the manufacturing year and date. So here you can see the manufacturing year and date. So it is around August 2019. So it's very important that you get the recently manufactured one. Open eye, feel the waves cut through me. We are, now we are going to remove the side covering of the exhaust. Mm, there's a screw over there and now we are removing it. So that panel is going to come off. There are a few rubber stoppers. Rubber holdings, yeah. Now it's been removed. Mm. Now the screw down holding the exhaust is being loosened so that uh, the exhaust can be removed. We are not going to touch the catalytic converter. Yeah, it's being loosened. You can feel the play over there. That's been removed. Okay. Uh, now the exhaust holder is being removed. Okay, that's it. It's just a simple procedure. So we have removed the two screws and now we are removing this near to the foot, rear foot pegs and just give it a gentle push and it's going to come out. Yeah, we need to keep that holder over there. Yeah, that holder has to be placed inside. The stock exhaust is weighing around 3.4 kgs. 3.4 kgs now this exhaust uh, the arrow slip-ons is weighing 1.2 kgs in the accessories we are clipping on the holders and that has been provided with the accessories okay now we are fitting the exhaust rim back So we need to retain that because when removing the stock exhaust it is going to come off. And now we are applying the paste around the end of the exhaust to give a lubrication feel. Uh, it's like a lubricant to facilitate the easy movement of the slip-ons inside. We are going to repeat the same process on the left side. Exhaust is being placed. Yeah, we are using the stock clips and bolts and nuts.
clip is being placed. being tightened the clamp is being tightened now the exhaust has been fitted now we are placing the side panel which comes only on the right side okay now there those two are rubber holdings and now we have to screw this in uh, we have placed the clip in the exhaust okay that's done make sure it sits Now oh, the, the side panel is being tightened and those two are rubber bushes, just we need to plug it on and there is only one screw over here to get it tightened, make sure it doesn't hit the exhaust, exhaust a bit over there. Now we are tight, uh, tightening the upper part. Right. Now the right exhaust is in place. We are going to do the same thing for the left side also. The same thing goes. The same thing goes for the left side. We are removing the clamp near the and the lower part of the exhaust. We need to remove the clamp. This is on the left side, so you don't find the panel here. Next we are going to remove the holder near the rear foot pegs on the left side. And now once this is removed the exhaust is going to be out. Yes, we have removed the exhaust, you need to remove that holder. We need the clamp because it has to be reused in the gasket. Yeah, it has to be reused. Now we are we are applying the paste as we have done the same thing on the right side. We are putting the gasket inside and then applying the paste. as well as on the exhaust and the same thing goes for the exhaust also and the exhaust is being placed Now we are going to tighten the clip. And now finally the clip is being tightened. As 
the final part of it now. Now we have placed the arrow exhaust. This is how it looks. It looks great on the bike. So I have not used the DB killers. Now let's see how it sounds. Hypnotized by the sounds of breathing in. Now I've just placed the DP killers temporarily without screwing it, screwing it inside. So this is how it looks with the DB killers. Now let's see how it sounds with the DB killers. The exhaust usually takes the color of the heat. So it may turn blue or yellow eventually. Hold tight, hold tight, can't make coals collide. Hold tight, hold tight. Now we have fit the panniers along with the bike to see if the exhaust is uh, uh, the exhaust is in compliance with the panniers. So now as you can see, the exhaust is in perfect harmony with the panniers. So the panniers are in place and the exhaust is correctly placed under the protective uh, plate so the exhaust will hit the plate as you can see the panniers are in place so the right and the left side both the sides forget to press the bell icon like share and subscribe and do give a big thumbs up thank you very much for watching my videos so alive, make